This is not just a celebration or a ceremony or not just about exchanging of rings or garlands, but it's a ceremony of cementing the bonds of two families and friends forever. Hey, I'm Benjamin. We're over here at Postal Waits about to get ready for our wedding. Uh, we have a beautiful ceremony set up over here. We've got one speaker set up for that. As you can see past here is where we're going to have cocktail hour. We're going to need to make sure that we have a sound set up for that for everyone to enjoy while they're having some cocktails. After our cocktail hour, we're going to go across the creek over to our reception area where we're going to be having dinner. It's an inside-outside venue, so we end up wiring up both the outside patio and the inside so people can enjoy the music as they go throughout the building and throughout the night. After dinner, we're going to go ahead and clear some of the tables for the dance party, and we're just going to have ourselves a wonderful time. We're over here at the ceremony site where we're going to have two lapel mics and one wired mic. We're going to have the equipment to make sure that every word is heard of this important ceremony. On this earth, we believe the life itself started from that ocean. So this is a pot, symbolic version of celebrating that life. It's a little bit of a longer ceremony at almost an hour long, and there is a lot more tradition going on. We want to make sure that we're really, really involved in making sure that the guests can hear everything going on. One important part of this step is the advice given by the parents to the bride and groom that do not transgress each other as you pursue your duties, acquire wealth, seek fulfillment of your earthly desires. So this is where we're going to have the cocktail hour. It's very, very important for us in the consultation to know what are the different sites, where they're at, so that way we can be prepared with the right kind of equipment. For this one, we're going to be bringing over another speaker setup so everyone can enjoy music while they're having some cocktails before our dinner hour. We're over here at our reception area. It's an indoor-outdoor seating area for dinner tonight. So we've got speakers on the outside and inside. Uh, we have a buffet table here in the center, which we're going to tear down after dinner. And we're going to make sure that's ready for our dance party tonight. All right, so we're on the inside of this reception area. As you can see, we have our speakers here and here. Uh, originally, the bride and groom wanted to have the event indoors, but there would be no way for the guests to hear indoors and outdoors without the right speaker set up. We are excited to see being all of you and being celebrating with us and a celebration today. And of course, we would be happier if you would have seen some of our family from India and the friends who could join us, especially for my mom and my sister. They couldn't come and everybody knows. I don't want it to utter that word. All right, because dinner took a little bit longer than anticipated, we needed to be able to think on our feet and make sure that the event was going to stay within the time boundaries that we put. So we're going to speed things up, do some speeches, and make sure that we're always thinking on our feet to make sure that your event is going smoothly and coordinated with everybody else, including the photographers, the videographers, and of course, the bride and groom. Like Siley said, I think when we were looking around the tables, we just see everyone we love here, family, friends from all walks of life. and. Just seeing everyone getting to know each other and everyone you know, spending the time to come celebrate us really just made us feel so honored. So we just wanna really, really, from the bottom of our hearts, thank all of you for you know, not only being here today, but also just all your love and support throughout our entire lives um, and you know, all of the adventures to come. So we're looking forward to those, but in the meantime, uh, we hope everyone is ready to dance. So with that being said, let's, uh, let's start the dance floor with one last toast to all of you guys for everything you've done for us throughout our entire lives. Yeah. Cheers.
dates on June 4th, and DJ Kai Entertainment was amazing. Yeah, he absolutely kept the dance floor going all night long and was the best DJ we could have hoped for. So many compliments.